okay, this seems like um, a very simple exercise, okay, but there's, there's um, a, a method to my madness with regards to what it's doing, it, especially at a hip. So we want to go and create stability around our hips. And we can just do um, a weight transfer, so balance one leg onto the other with, with a bar on our back. And when we're putting a bar on our back, we're putting it on then go and stabilize. The idea at the start is to keep the weight low, okay, but then as you prove, as you get, as it gets easier and easier, we want to go and put quite a lot of weight on, okay, because just holding on to weight will challenge those muscles that stabilize the hip. But before we kind of add weight, what I want us to get good at is just, number one, I guess, just making sure that bar sits a little bit low on your back. Okay? And you can see here it actually is in contact with my back for a, quite a um, long part, which essentially then is able to dissipate load. There shouldn't really be that much weight going through your hands, okay? That should be being held by your back, okay? Because you want that weight to kind of go through your pelvis. So essentially what we're doing here is we're just we're creating a weight, a weight bearing, okay, on this side here. And what you'll see is that I, I slightly lengthen, okay, my spine on my weight bearing side. The effect of that is, is the bar actually drops a little bit on my non-weight bearing side, okay. And so <clears throat> the second thing I want you to see is that, you know, lengthening again through my weight bearing side is that you'll see my hip you'll see my hip on the swing side, on my non weapon side, just comes up a little bit, okay? And so, as we go and swap, hip comes up, okay? And so we have a lengthening on our stance side, and we have a, almost a little kinking of our spine on our non weight bearing side, okay? Because that hip is raised, okay? If we just go and play that through. Perfect. Okay, hope this helps.